Hey guys, how's it going? So today has been a very exciting day. Today they finally released Celebi in Pokemon Go. Now you can collect, now you can get Celebi worldwide, not just from GoFest. They actually have it worldwide now. It's pretty exciting. And so the first few quests they had for it was power up a Pokemon five times, battle in a gym two times, and then battle in a raid. That was the first section of quests. And I was already downtown to do raids anyways, and obviously for Celebi, but I was already doing raids anyway, so I did that raid, and then it went on to step two. So, step the first thing you had to do in step two was make three new friends. So you had to add people as friends. So, I really like that Niantic is actually forcing people to make new friends, because one of the best things I like about Pokemon Go is that I've made so many friends from playing this game that I would never have met ever and it really gets you out of the house you really meet new people it's really fun the other thing was you evolve a grass type Pokemon but not just any grass type Pokemon it has to be a Pokemon so you have to evolve a Pokemon that's already been evolved so basically you need to evolve the third evolution of a grass type it, it was a little confusing for some people some people tried evolving the first one and they're like why isn't this working so it got a little confusing and the third thing is you catch a Pokemon three days in a row. So they actually made it so you can't actually get Celebi in one day. It's going to take you a while to do it. So I won't be able to do more Celebi quests until two days, two more days from now. So I have to get spend, uh, catch a Pokemon tomorrow and then catch a Pokemon the day after and then I can play. So on Wednesday I'll be able to play again. And I was filming all day, so you'll see my video come out sometime later this week. And you'll see the rest of the Celebi quest when I get around to doing that too. But the main reason I wanted to make this was because uh, there's an Indie Direct that came out this morning that I have not seen yet. Except I did have a couple games spoiled for me. I know that Morphe's Law came out today and Danny spoiled for me that A Hat in Time is coming to the Switch. And that I am actually really excited for. I was really upset when I found out that that game wasn't actually ever going to be coming to the Switch, but now it is. And that game's amazing. I have it on PC and I've only played about an hour of it, but that game is really good. So I'm really excited that it's coming to Switch and that I can play it on the go. Another thing that I forgot to announce is there's new shinies that just came to the game. There is new shinies. There is Natu, there is Sunkern, and there is Pineco. There's also a bunch of new quests, and one of the quests is evolve three Natus or Sunkerns, and then you get a Pineco. So you have another chance at finding Shinies. So I've been looking all day for Shinies, and I haven't found any yet, but I am going to just keep looking. I really want to find these new Shinies. I love Shiny hunting. Shinies are a really cool thing that they added to Pokemon Go. But anyways, I'm going to jump into this Nintendo Direct, which I am really excited to see. Peggy 16. And it's all indie games, and I, I love indie games. Indie games are like, indie games are my jam. I love the old, especially the old school looking games. Just they're just so fun. This is a really cool intro. Indie highlights, okay. Hello, everybody, and welcome to our indie highlights presentation. A whistle stop tour that's filled to the brim with top indie games coming to Nintendo Switch. We've been working with some of the most talented independent developers on the planet, and we've loved seeing their work thrive and flourish on our platforms. Because of them, Nintendo Switch is already home to some tip-top independent games. Oh, there's a lot of games that are great. You're an inquisitive cabbie, helping the Parisian police investigate a vivid cast of potential serial killers while making enough money to pay your bills in Nightcrawl. Hmm. This looks interesting. Is this like an adventure game or what kind of game is this? Oh. So you have to like, so it is like an adventure game where you have to like talk and pick, make choices. Oh, this actually looks really cool. I've never been a huge fan of having adventure games on the Switch though. Like I'm more, like a game like this Seems like it'd be better on, like, mobile or, like, on a computer, really. It's 
be hard to play a game like this with a controller, I think. But it looks alright. Kind of it looks alright. Actually, this doesn't really look that great, to be honest. I, I'm not gonna pick that up. Being a human is pretty cool. Oh, Monster Boy. I didn't play the original I didn't play this when it first came out, but it looks really good. Is this a new Monster Boy game? This looks awesome. Yeah, I really need to try out the first Monster Boy that was on the Switch. I think it was the Monster Boy on the Switch before. I could be thinking of a different game. But this looks pretty cool. I don't know why, it kind of gives me a Maple Story vibe. It definitely feels like Maple Story kind of vibe. The same kind of color scheme, I guess. Don't quote. I never played Maple Story, so. But this looks really cool. You get to be a lot of different monster types, there's a lot of different variations in this, that's cool. You get to actually play as the monsters. Does he become the monsters, kind of like Shantae? Monster Boy in the Curse Kingdom shapeshifts onto Nintendo Shapeshift, so I think it might be, I think it might be kind of like Shantae, where he's like, the character changes into the different monsters. you could control time? Save people in need? Sleep in longer? How about solve a load of brain teasing conundrums? Oh, what is this? The gardens between. All right, this looks interesting. Whoa. Oh, whoa. That's like Prince of Persia. Oh, what? Are they like really tiny? Yeah, I think these guys are like shrunk themselves or something. They're really tiny. This looks kind of cool. I don't know if I'd play it though. It looks like it might be. This doesn't look really that exciting though. The surreal puzzler, the gardens between, makes the journey to oh, the puzzle game. Okay. September twentieth. You can pre-order from Nintendo eShop right now. No, thank you. I don't want to pray to that. It's time to hit the mean, procedurally generated streets of Rogue. Streets. This brilliantly balmy brawler is coming to Nintendo Switch. It's like Streets of Rage. Enhancements. This is kind of like a Street of Rage ripoff, or what is this? Oh, no! It doesn't look anything like that. That's not what I thought it was going to be at all. This kind of looks like uh, that game where you're trying to escape prison. I think it's called Prison Architect or something. It looks kind of like that. Oh, what? The guy like went through the walls and shit? That's cool. This would be cool to play with four people. To accidental death. <laughs> Hacking computer? Yeah, no, this looks kind of a lot like that one where you're trying to escape jail. Especially if you're hacking and trying to like get your walls and everything, yeah. But this looks a lot more exciting. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. I'd definitely I'd definitely give that a try. Streets of Road comes to town this winter. Right on. Not too far off. Beards and boats and bows and arrows. Defend your island kingdom from hordes of Viking invaders in this charming but brutal real-time tactics roguelite. Hmm. Oh, real-time tactics? No. I don't really like strategy games like this. I don't know why. I just find... I don't know. I've always found strategy games kind of boring. But real-time tactics is a little different. But 
yeah. It's definitely not a game I would play. That looks... I don't know. It, that doesn't look that great. Bad North is marauding its way onto Nintendo eShop right now. That game did and not now, interest me. updates from our friends at 11-Bit Studios. Oh, what is this? I don't know what this is, but I'm, I'm already liking this. Oh, I always love these kind of like Zelda-like games. Especially the old 8-bit platformer, or not platformer, just 8-bit like, just 8-bit games in general. But it's like an action game, this looks really cool. It's very Zelda-esque. Yeah, that definitely looks like something I'd like. Well, that was an interesting transition there. Please stop it. Huh. This looks interesting. I'm not too sure if I'd play this, but it looks interesting. The art direction in that game is pretty cool. Now what is this? Just give me the old school action games. Any like 8 bit, 16 bit action game, like it's cool. I'm I'm down for it. I just love 16 bit games. Oh this kinda This is like a 16 bit Diablo. Sixteen or eight, like an eight bit Diablo, that's pretty cool. Okay, that's something I would definitely get play too. Children of Mortar. All right, not till next year. Of mine and Moonlighter are all making their Moonlighter. Way to I definitely want to get Moonlighter. Moonlighter looks awesome. Pew, pew, pew. Embark on a challenging journey through an ever-changing cosmos in Everspace, a fast-paced roguelike space shooter. Oh. Very futuristic. Like actually in space, okay. Oh, this is the Stellar Edition. So apparently they're this game without on other systems before. Oh. Huh. I wonder if this game you can play it online or if it's just single player. Oh, so that's the storyline and everything. That's good. I have a warrant for you, dead or alive. Damn it! They found me. If there's a decent story for this game, then I'd play it. Yeah. Why didn't you attack me on sight then? We of the coalition have bigger plans. The place is infested with gray goose swarms. Someone has to destroy them. I don't know. I've never been a huge fan of space shooters, though. They're a little. I don't know. I feel like you don't really do too much in these kind of games. But it looks gorgeous, for sure. 
if it's cheap and has a decent story, then I might play it. Oh, it's going through a black hole? Yo, that was awesome. Oh, that planet down there. Did that planet just get blown up or something? Like... Whoa. This game better ha this game better be online or have multiplayer or something because that actually looks that actually looks really cool. Everspace Stellar Edition, featuring the base game and the Encounters expansion, blasts off this December. So get ready to shoot, oh, nice. That's loot, in. and craft your way to victory. Who are you, Baba? Baba is me. Baba is you. Baba is you. In this tricky puzzler, you don't just make the rules. You are the rules. What? Uh, okay. Oh, and it's 8-bit. Okay. What is that, Qbert? Kind of looks like Qbert. Flag is win. Flag is you. Fox is push. What? I have no clue what's going on. Fun is Baba. Wall is stop. What? Yeah, I have no clue what was going on there. If that's the whole game, then I don't know. That looks that looks interesting. When Baba is you comes to Nintendo Switch this autumn. Yeah, if it's more than like five bucks, Crafting no. Deck of cards. That didn't that didn't even look worth five dollars. And discover relics of immense power. Enslay the spire from Mega Crit Games. Oh, it's on Humble Bundle. Oh, the Humble Bundle game. I forgot. Humble Bundle actually makes their own games. They need to do another Humble Bundle for the Switch. They haven't done a Switch Bundle yet. They've only done one for 3DS. They should definitely do a Switch Bundle. Oh, this is this a card game? Or, yeah, it is. Oh. Cool. I don't think I'd, I would play this. It's definitely not a kind of game that I'd be into, but it actually looks pretty cool. I like the I like the concept. Maybe my favorite game released? No. Why would someone say that? Horribly addictive. No. No, that game doesn't interest me. All right, next. Play your cards right. Slay the spire, climbs the tower in early 2019. The fast-paced sports action game of the 90s, Windjammers. Oh, Windjammers! On Nintendo Switch. I've been waiting to try Windjammers, actually. Is this the original Windjammers? Or is this like a remake or something? This Windjammers actually looks cool. It's like... Yeah, it's like tennis but with a frisbee. So that actually looks, actually looks really cool. I feel like it might get boring kind of quick, but I definitely, depending on the price, I definitely would pick that up. Wait, what's this? Ooh, new Windjammers? Yo, oh, are this a new Windjammers? Yeah! Now we're talking.
yeah, this this is cool. Windjammers 2? Yo! There better be like a storyline and everything with that. That would be awesome. When it launches in 2019. That that I'm interested in. The original Windjammers from October 23rd this year. Hey, dig this. What is this Terraria? Oh, sick Terraria. Rise and shine, inmates. Build and manage a oh, prison architect. security prison in Prison Architect Nintendo Switch Edition. Oh, build and manage. Okay. Simulation and management game, Prison Architect, puts you in charge of your very own penitentiary. Look after your inmates by building a secure lockup, keeping them safe and healthy, and helping rehabilitate them into productive... Is this the same guys that made that other one where you try to escape prison? For some reason, I can't think of what the game is called off the top of my head. But be careful. People have needs. Because this is the exact same. This is the exact same. Uh, uh, the game includes a fully fledged story. Like the look and everything. The grim and gruesome reality of legal gray areas in the prison system. Oh, it's got a story mode. An in-depth sandbox mode. Oh, sweet! If it's got a story mode. Actually, then I'm kind of interested. You can also upload your best builds to World of Wardens, so players across the globe can test drive your creations. Prison Architect for Nintendo Switch is a premium edition. Which includes two expansions. Oh, Psych Ward? Day and a Night and Psych Ward. Oh, sick. Letting you up the challenge with new wardens and maps, as well as a new security class, Criminally Insane. Alright, I'm interested. I love some games. Some games are great. As something else to look forward to, a new add on pack based on Prison Architect's wildly popular escape mode will be available on Nintendo Switch later this summer. In escape mode, you take on the role of an inmate, carry out missions, earn cash, recruit new crew members, and do whatever it takes to dig. Sneak, swim, or fight your way to freedom. Will you build a calm utopia of rehab and care, or come down on your inmates with an iron fist? After all, it's your prison, your rules. Sweet. Yeah, give me more sim games. I like them. I'm, I'm happy. Knuckle down and lock him up. Prison Architect Nintendo Switch Edition is available to download right now. Oh, sick! It's available right the now. Download will be available to purchase as downloadable content later this summer. Nice. Okay, that that I'm interested in. Okay, more Fizzla. This I knew was coming. This game kind of like fell off the radar for quite a while, but now that it's back, this game actually looks really cool. Like, every time you shoot each other, you get bigger, so you're a bigger, tar easier target. I like that concept. So yeah, every time you shoot, you get bigger. That's a cool concept. It makes you an easier target. But the whole game just looks really cool. I really like the whole Mexican theme of this game. It looks really cool. Is this online only? Okay, so yeah, you can practice offline. Okay, cool. Oh, he just bashed his head. Oh, you can make weapons? Oh, you can customize the way you look, too? Oh, and gyro controls. Okay. Gyro controls are special are needed. From playing Splatoon 2, like, you need the gyro controls. I can't do shooters on a controller without gyro controls, so... Have, this having gyro controls actually makes me really excited to play this. Okay, I really want to get this game now. Yeah, that looks awesome. Thanks for that, big guy. Morphe's Law shoots onto Nintendo eShop tonight. Ah. Yeah, I already knew it was available today. All the titles on screen right now. Oh, War Group. Show floor at Gamescom 2018. If you're there, we hope you'll swing by and give them a whirl. And if you're not there, look forward to seeing them on Nintendo eShop in the future. 
We hope you enjoyed this Indie Highlights presentation. As always, we'll continue to deliver new information on all sorts of independent titles coming to Nintendo Switch in the future. In fact, stay tuned for even more info coming very soon. Oh. Thanks for watching. Right on. That was pretty cool. There were a few games in that that I kind that I like. Yeah, that was alright. There was a few games. I don't remember what it was called. It was, uh, somewhere around here. Whatever. Those couple of indie games that were shown off. The one that looked kind of like Zelda, and that other one that looked kind of like, uh, Diablo? But they were all 8-bit? Both of those looked really cool. I definitely want to get both of those. But anyways, thanks for watching, and... Yeah, keep an eye out. I'm going to be posting a couple po more Pokemon videos. I have one that I did on Saturday of a bunch of raids. I still have to finish that and edit that. And then shortly after that will be my Celebi videos. And then I'm going to be filming more Celebi stuff probably on Wednesday or later. And then on Saturday I have a Mewtwo raid. I think it's like my fifth or sixth Mewtwo. So hopefully I can catch that. And there will be videos of everything. So... Keep an eye on my, on my channel, and yeah, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and subscribe if you're new. Anyways, see ya!